Hi people, this is what happens the next stage of the bone broth. These are the bones. These are, I do believe, femur bones. And as you can see, there is no marrow left in them at all. You sometimes get a little bit like that, but that's just bone, yeah? Porous bone. Porous bone. My carer is here. Now, what do you think? How did I do? It's fine. Absolutely fine. Do you want to jug it? Yeah. Right, this, this is the kind of strainer you need, real fine, so there is no chance of any bone bits getting through at all. It is essential no bone bits get through, as bone, cooked bone, perforates your dog's gut. Do you want a bigger jug? That jug has not been washed though. It's just why I rested that in. I might keep these, I know that sounds very strange. Now, right, we're sif sifting. Look at the colour of that. That is strong. Let me get through. That one is better, I think. I can always wash it, it's my spoon. Any spoon will do, and then just rub it through. So at this point, let me show them. At this point, okay, you can see there's quite a bit left in the sifter. Look at the colour of the bone broth. It's a deep, this is very concentrated. As I said, you have to build your dog up to this. Right. You're the jug. Yeah. So I don't, you, you can imagine <laughs> me. Yeah. Gone. You know, I'm very much being mentored here. <laughs> oh, the goodness, that's all the jelly, which is just the See, this bones. is why I wondered what it was. That's just the, what the bones have gone down to and what the meat's gone down to. It goes down to a pulp. And if you sieve it through, you know there's no bits of bone. But all the goodness goes through into the box. Am I doing this right? Yeah, absolutely fine. Keep going, let me go down. See, this is what I gave. Right, I just showed them this. Thank you. I gave Zed a little bit of this. If you can see how, um, oh yeah, against my sleeve, you can see that it's it. That is what it, the pulp that we are pushing through. The reason I push it through is in case there's any splinters. Yeah, this because we cannot have any splinters. It, no. no bits of bone are allowed through at all. It is essential, people. Doesn't matter how long it takes. This is dog health, and the benefits of this are huge. It really helped your dog, hasn't it? Huge, yeah. Because my carer's dog has no femoral heads. heads. That's right. Yes. yes. She was born that way. She's done doing remarkably well in her training, hasn't she? She's been really bad. Learn to hold her focus. Yes. Impulse control. Really good. She has ulcers, so this is really good for her. So this also heals stomach ulcers, people. Maybe so, I maybe I should be eating this. Yeah. So now that can be tubbed. Mixed tubbed. Do I use this? No, because no. the bottom of the spoon might have a splinter of bone on it. So we've got another spoon. Another spoon. Is so that in there? Yeah. Mix it all in. They have perfect broth with all the goodness in it. That's all it is. It goes creamy because of all the... Is it, this is lovely. It's really good quality broth. Have I done well with it? Yes, perfect. Because your son was sick with the smell, yeah? Yeah. So it got bought round here and I finished it off. Because you usually do it at home, don't I you? I do usually do it at home, yeah. Because this is your stock pot. I don't have things like stock pots in this house. <laughs> I just have a small pan that you stick a food tin of food in. Right, we, we start potting now. Tubbing, that's what I mean. Yes, straight in. Yeah. Woohoo, look at that. Actually, let me do it with the other hand. And the light is a little bit unfortunate here because of that, but hey yeah. ho. Best. We're doing our best, be people. Enough, it swells when it, it freezes. Swell, okay, there you go. There's another tip. It swells when it freezes. 
Do you know, this is the thing, is you end up like... Greasy. Yes, that's one word for it. But it's... I'm surprised it's she's not so, in here. It's very good for them. Um, that's my stirring spoon, isn't it? Yes. yes. Um, little tip here, people. Double tub it, because I've put my knife through the bottom before and ended up with bone broth all in my fridge when it's defrosting. You know, you don't need to defrost a whole lot. You can literally just chop off enough for a couple of days. Right. Well, I don't need to double tap at the moment. Just double top the one that you're using. I've got one defrosting yeah. in the fridge from the last lot. Should I have stirred that first again? No. Look at that. Oh, that was the Yeah, just... that's fine. Leave that there. Okay. Yes, um... That's just the excess fat. So you need some of the fat left in, the good fat. Oh, you see, that's the good fat, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, And this is stuck to it. We don't want that. No. That will stay in the jug. Okay. Do we put any more in this one? We will do, yeah. So you move that aside. And here we go again. First time I've ever I've done a video with anybody. Do you know that? Is that? You're mucky, isn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Miss, Miss Mucky. This I've got little bits in it, so it might have a bit of brown in it. Miss Mucky Puffy. But the jug drips because it's sat in the... What's that? Why are you sitting it? Yeah, well, cool. I was going to say, why are you sitting it in there? But, but you, you kind of have to, don't you? Kind of dip it, oh, whole dip it in. <laughs> well, I do have a ladle, but... <laughs> that, the only thing that label is no good for stirring at all. I ended up having to change the wooden spoon. Um, <laughs> but it was great for getting those out. Yes, yeah, for lifting up the bone. Yeah. They were quite hot. I stupidly touched one. That's not a good idea. No, but you know me. You know me. And yeah. first, right. She can't help herself. She's taking over people. I'm redundant yet again. It's quicker if you just rub the bottom of the spoon straight yeah, well, across. Don't let that go over the top there, though. Oh, that'd be alright. won't go over the top. See who's the dominant one here now. I can't keep <laughs> away. Not all of this will probably go through because it's quite fibrous. This is what's left of the meat. Most of it should. See the fibrous bit? Yeah, that's what I was talking to you about on the field. That's the meat. That's what's left of the meat. But all the goodness has come through. Not a lot. Is any coming through that bit now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Don't you go quitting. No, I just have to make sure that it's still coming through. Yeah, it's coming through. It's coming through in, in like big... What would you usually use the sieve for? Me? Strainer. Home. Strainer. Yeah. Is, is it like for... Because it's not a sieve. It's like as my, like for me, in my head, for flour. Yeah. That is it. not fine enough, is it? Yeah, I use this. This is what I use for flour. One of these. I've yeah, but a flour sieve, a standard one, would not be enough... Wouldn't be fine enough for this, would it? Yes, because that's what this is. Yeah, but what I mean, you know, the bigger flower one. Yeah, I've got a big one of these. Yeah. Because the holes are the same for a flower one. It's always minute holes. So flower sieve is perfect. Uh, okay. Flower sieve is perfect. Take it from the expert. I am seriously her junior in this. <laughs> honestly. But we started this as total beginners. Didn't we? Yes, we did. And we started with a very um, weak, very weak, and diluted. It was one carcass and, and a great big knuckle bone, beef knuckle bone, which is no good, really. No, you need marrow bones. To you get need the marrow out. you need femur marrow bones. Yeah. And as I said, these are classified as small ones. And we come in a pack of two. We get them in a pack of two. And the thing is, look at the difference. You see, that one would have a lot of marrow in it. This one, not so much. So, and those bones will not go down as much as you boil them. However much you boil them, they don't disappear. These, yeah, I'm sure we heard that. But these will never. If you boiled it for what a week, these would not disappear, would they? I suppose eventually it might, but take forever. So it's a thick. Look at her. She's still. She's a, such Very a twitcher. Awesome. She's such a. And apparently, when she shakes her ball, that's growling, apparently. But it's not, though, is it? it, it no, it's, it's a vocalisation. It's play, yeah. It's quite worrying what people don't understand about dogs. That's got quite a bit of bone bits there. Just there, I can see them. 
which is why I've been this thing. Yeah. Don't you picking all the audio up here? Because otherwise, you just have to turn your PCs up, people. Or your smartphones. I don't have a smartphone, but you know, just turn your volume up, everybody, because I'm not right on top of the the audio here. Right, right. Let me stir that. Got to take that off the bottom before, and I'll dispose of. Okay. Right, you've got an old tub so we can dispose of this in so it can all go together. I don't have anything like an old tub. No, only. one of those tubs will do. <laughs> <laughs> one of those tubs I can put this in it. Oh. One of my beautiful tubs. Yeah. Just so I've got somewhere to store all the... I'll show them what we're chucking. Yeah. Because there'd be tiny, tiny bits of bone in it. If you can see, I'll, I'll put myself actually against this, right? If you can see that, that is what we're throwing away because there will be tiny fragments of bone, okay? You do not want that in your broth. At all. No. At all, ever. Right. That one's done, yes? Yes. Thank you, madam. Yes, madam. Another Miss Madden. I have two Miss Maddens in my life. That is lovely, isn't it? It's real nice quality broth. You're not going to be able to buy this anywhere. Well, we did see one, but it had seeds and No, actually, I, I rechecked that. Yeah. And it hasn't got seeds in it. That was me with no glasses on, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's another one. Oh, you see, look, she's so fast. I, I'm, I'm such a absolute beginner at this compared to my carer here. This is where I slip up, and it goes all over the floor, and says so like, "Yay!" And then we'll have a runny tummy. I think this we made this about right, actually, didn't we? Yeah. I was right, wasn't I? Just, you know. Just it's I, just double of what we used last time. Last time it was perfect. I had to. I I, I was texting my carer. It was. I, I was driving her nuts for text. Seriously, you know, explaining what was going on with the broth and should I turn it off and should I add more water and da 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 da. Um, but we. I, wow. It's getting to the point where we've got all the. It's a real education. I'm going to bring the camera around just a bit so you can see this without the window. Um, be very careful here. <laughs> there you are, you've got an absolute view now of what's been done. You have to go to this much trouble if you love your dog and you care about its health and welfare. You can't just be walking, watering and feeding them people. That is not enough. It's so nice to have someone else in a film with me. Yay! Oh, it's coming out. A lot of this won't go through. Okay. Uh, see that, that forks in the way. <laughs> that one there. I'm, and I'm trying to get a good angle for the viewers. It's all right. There's no chance of you getting you getting you, you in it. This isn't really going through. This has got to put this. This is the, the fibrous stuff in the bottom. Right, okay. Let me just move this. It's all right, it's not going to happen, love. All right, okay. trust me, and I know you do. Not everybody wants to be in a video, people. We, uh, we respect people's privacy here. Sure. Now, the first one was more runny. I feel like putting my name on a few ones. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> hair on that, I wonder whose that is. It's not a hair, it's a bit of fur. I'll be said then. <laughs> How many more do you think you need? Two on this bit. Because you if you don't mind, I have zero room in my freezer. That's fine. Should I put my name on one side? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, right, because what i what I'm gonna do, that one was quite thin. Right, yeah, so that's I'm fine for do, I will do this like that. So you've got those izzies. Do you see what I've just done? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put those two. Right, hang on. 
I'll put, I'm going to get a pen and put a C on that. Right, for another one. I've only got half an almond croissant left, look. <laughs> That's four in less than, what, 48 hours? I can't help myself. <laughs> I've had a casserole this morning, so, well, last night, whenever, but you know. Yeah. I don't know day to night, you know that. Me so basically, we're ending up for each. No, we're not. It's going to be more. So that's on Izzy's that, pile. Yeah, that's that. Because I'll be pouring out the next bit because it's getting to the bottom. Do you want me to do sort of, wow, look at what's in there. Yeah. Like, just show. Yeah. This is what... This is where I need a proper damn camera, is what I'm going to say here. Um, can you see? Let me put myself in front here. Is the light? You see, because we've got light going into the camera, it's not a good thing. Um, it's very fibrous. I, you know, there will be lots of little bits of bone in there. So the dog would love it. It wouldn't be safe. It wouldn't be safe. Yes, absolutely. I've, I'm like a grease ball in my hand. Yeah, it is very greasy. Greasy job, people. Very greasy, let me tell you. You can tell there's a bit of a height difference going on here, can't you? <laughs> I am short, though. It goes quite dry when you get all the stuff through, doesn't it? it it's kind of a... Weird texture. Yeah, it goes quite dry with all the Should I just throw that in the bin? Yeah. And I will then... Shame it's cooked bone because the, the, the animals up the woods would love it. Yeah, but again, it would be bad for them, wouldn't it? Yeah, because it's got bone in. Exactly. Cooked bone. bone cooked style, bone. Not cooked bone, it's splintered. Like that. That's oh. right. So we've got three each. Yeah. And what did we have last time? It was like one and a half each, right? Yeah. And if you in fact say a spoonful a day, it lasts a while. Supposedly. Another. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Um, I like to keep my videos quite sort of upbeat. So this is a serious topic. I've forgotten which is which now. The ones on the that's, right are yours. That's mine. Oh, yeah, well done, Laura. Smack the top nice all over your washing machine. That's what I call housework round here. This one, lots of housework. Ironing she does. I don't even own an iron. <laughs> don't know what an iron actually is. I mean, you put it against the door to hold it back, don't you? Isn't that what it's for? <laughs> no, it's the ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's real weird stuff, isn't it? It's all the fire breast stuff from where your bones and your meat are cooked down. You see, people would be tempted to feed that, wouldn't they? They would. The animals would love it, but there is such a high risk of splinters. Because there would be tiny little splinters that would actually puncture. stick and puncture like a needle in, the into the intestine. Yeah. yeah. And that would mean an open bowel operation. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. You don't want to do that to your poor dog, you know, and have because then it wouldn't show up on an X-ray either, would it? No, it'd be too small. But the the puncture would it show? Yeah. Well, around it, you get gases and all that. And leaking, I'd imagine. Yeah, they end up with with peritonitis, fe peritonitis and feces in the the gut and everything. That's it, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Throw it in my sink. <laughs> there you go. Well. I mean, your great idea of putting bleach down the plug all didn't work either. It works in mine. Yeah, well, mine's clearly blocked more than yours, love, isn't it? <laughs> right, that's it. That's the end of it. So, do you want another tub? Yes, please. Because we're going to end up with sort of just about four each. I'm going to have the greasiest chopping board. I'm going to have to Give it a scrub. boil, boil the kettle. It could scrub it, it'll come off. I didn't realise 
How much? You know, I've just been buying the boats, and you've been doing all of this. Yeah. I think I got the good end of that deal. Don't mind my saying, but I, I, you see, I, I actually like the smell of this when it's cooking. Ooh. No one else does, but I actually like it. But it got very hot in here because obviously I had to have the window shut. Right, this is for the bin. Yes, miss. Let me just strain off the last of this. Okay. There ain't much in the way there. There ain't much in there. No, this can go in that tub to go in the bin. Because that's just... So you let it sit a bit then? Yeah. Oh, wow. Big splinter, isn't it? Yeah, it's a huge splinter. Oh, my. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, my shoulder's gone. Jesus. You know how it what it does. Not that one. The other one. Ay 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 ay. You. I need to just. That's it. I, that needs to be pulled. I'll I'll sort that out in a minute. <laughs> that's that spoon. That's that spoon. Keep your spoon separate. That's another important thing because splinters. You see how small that was. Yeah. You stick to that spoon. You heard that? Yeah. Keep your spoon separate because there was a big splinter there. You mix up your spoons, you're going to end up with splinters in your broth. You don't want it. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, she's playing with the birds. <laughs> now, that, that's meant to be growling, what she's doing, apparently. No, nope, she's playing with the birds. Dancing round with her. Pretty right. ball in her mouth. Prancing a, a, like busted, a busted football. Oh, that's four inch. Yeah. Because last time. It's nice quality as well. It's top quality. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, good luck with that. That's what. There's no hot water. Oh, I keep these for training. I've got toilet roll tubes, kitchen roll tubes, training. Okay, people, so that is what you do. Please, and I can't. And I can't, what's the word? Emphasise. Yeah. Emphasise this enough. Separate spoons. Separate spoons. One for mixing, one for, for pushing it through. One for mixing, one for pushing it through. Don't confuse the two. You do not want any tiny splinters to get into your bone broth. Okay. Um, I'm going to end it here because it's quite a long video. Thanks to my carer. Um, she's a, one of the strongest women I've ever met. And she has my total respect. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye for now.